Okay, guys, we're back. We are back, 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 back on a rainy day. This chair is finally breaking. Ugh. I still haven't got my money's worth out of it yet. This ripped the other day, standing on it. Super. Maybe like this. Oh, that hurts. Okay. It's got right fine. I'm gonna uh, re-clean these hinges and roll them here. You can see it's pretty clean. Nice and white, like it should be. Uh, anybody that follows me on Facebook, I posted pictures. Just so you guys understand, I'll say it real quick, then we'll get into working. I bought two sets of side pipes, not one set. I bought uh, a mint set locally, okay? And I threw two pictures on Facebook that I didn't realize my son took when we held them up here just to see how they would look. Obviously, we didn't have the trim up or nothing like that. Just to see the length and see how they would look. He snapped a picture from the side. I threw that on there. And I bought another set at the swamp meet. The ones at the swamp meet looked like they were nice and then someone just left them outside. Uh, one of the meshes definitely has some rust on it. The other mesh is actually clean. Both the front chrome pieces are clean and really nice. The turn down's nice and the mufflers are nice. So um, the muffle length is exactly the same. Everything's exactly the same on the two sets which is good because they come in all different lengths and the longer they are the more money they cost. So I'm gonna take and this is the reason I did it. I had bought the mint set. I hadn't picked them up yet, but I had bought the mint set and then that set was spotted. So the reason I did grab my grab them for 25 bucks um, was I want to alter the muffler tubes because it's not just a piece of straight pipe. One end is just wedged up so a three inch pipe can go in. And then when you get down to the other end, um, the chrome tip, which is actually pretty long. It's like from here to probably here is wedged up to go around it and the chrome tip is three inch and I think the overall muffler is uh, three and a half inch if I'm not mistaken but when you go inside they obviously they put a cone on the front they narrow it down and they louver it so it goes over the louvers it doesn't go like into the slots it passes the louvers and when you get the pulse it deadens the sound but I think it's kind of small on that um, I want to take the second set here and I'm gonna take those cores out. I'm not gonna leave them hollow. I'm gonna show Junior how a glass pack is made and how to remake it. Cause I, I did it once on my Jeep. And uh, we're gonna open up the insides, the three inch, and it's still gonna be glass packs. It's still gonna have the five glass in them and it's still gonna have the perforations, but it's gonna be perforations. And uh, that'll definitely make them breathe. But since it's going through so much of it, it will take, it will drone it down a, a touch. It won't be like total straight pipe. So the longer, you, the longer the glass pack is, the more it hushes it down. But glass packs are not quiet. Um, but I would have to actually measure. I have one an awful is off. Hold on. Okay, you're looking at 54 inches for this thing. And this side is swedged up to accept the three inch pipe. This is the inlet. And the other side, put this down. other side is kind of swedged down for three inch to go over okay and then they narrow it down to nothing that's actually the outlet the other side's coned so they narrow it down to like I don't know what that is an inch and a half so I'm not looking to rob all the power out of this thing so basically what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut these on both ends is how you do it you can see there's just one tack weld right over there on that whole thing to hold that baffle in. They just put one little spot weld. You probably see it from the outside, now you can't. Okay? But you can see this side is tapered. And all the louvers face the other way. And we are going to press that out. Okay? And after we press that out, um, that's when we're going to insert the new tube. So. Okie doke guys, so, these things are heavy, there's a shitload of metal right here, 
Okay, guys, I told you it was just a scuff and shoot. I scuffed somewhere. All up underneath. It's completely done. This complete frame is done inside out. We did this, did that. All done. Door all done. We gotta work on a latch. I'll take that out. Back striker stays on both doors. Massive pain in the ass to put those in. I'll all be scratched by then. I'm better off just masking it really nice. Front one comes out. Um, little tip on these bolts or any bolts like it. They look scratched. They are, but they aren't. But they should look worse than they did a few minutes ago. Um, pull them out one at a time, and one at a time I clean behind them again, and I clean the actual bolt with uh, some 220 and then scotch brite, and then put the one bolt back in. Then I moved on until I did all six of them. Biggest mistake you can make, biggest, and everybody does it, and I'm not going to say I still don't do it on regular projects, not car projects, is to hit them with a wire wheel. A wire wheel makes them spotless, but also polishes them. And anything you do, the paint flakes off. You put a socket on, the paint falls off. You do anything to it, the paint falls off. You leave them, eventually the paint falls off. Best is to glass beat them. But no more sand allowed. I'm still finding sand. Where? I don't know how I'm still finding sand. How the fuck am I still finding sand in this car? But I am. But basically, what you see here is 98% done. I won't say 100% because I'm going to go over it again and look. Um, now I got to do the door over there. Door should be easier. Uh, the door is going to be the window frames again. And I know the front, I thought the back of the door was done. And then the two corners we had done. So the back of the, you know, the door should be pretty quick. Um, and that's it. And then we can get ready to mask this baby off for some uh, bit of heat holding this up. Pretty cool. We get ready to mask this off for some epoxy. Then we'll put uh, two coats, nothing major, but some high build on here so I can just give it a basic sand. Um, and that'll be it. But I just gotta come up here and I just gotta take care of that little dot right there. Uh, I forgot the stuff. Uh, I want to see if Junior has bond though. I'll ask him tonight. If not, I'll bring some home tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to bring that one muffler to work and play with that at lunchtime. And, uh, yeah, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. Oh, we got a... I mean, I'm going to mask to this edge, but we're still going to pull this rock molding off. Junior's going to pick me up rock of shoots. We'll give that a quick sand. A prime. Shoots it. I don't know if the molding's going on. Not going on. There's really nothing wrong with the molding. But I just don't know if I want it there. Um, Got to decide. It's not going to interfere with the slide pipes at all. So either we're going to do it or not do it. I just don't know if it would take away from the slide pipes having the uh, stainless steel, whatever. There's a stainless steel, then all that coming down. I think it'd be, it might be a little busy. So I think I'd prefer the shorts on the car painted down there. Uh, we're going to do the pipes. The tailpipe will be chrome. The front pipe sticking out going onto the car is going to be the satin to flat black. The main muffler is going to be that high heat red. Then it's going to have the shield over it. So if, when you look through the slit, you'll see red across it. But the red's not going to stick out the front. Um, that's exactly how we're doing it. And uh, maybe it's going to be cool, especially when we open up the pipes. This thing's going to sound like a beast. But, uh,. Um, we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. The cold weather's coming. Uh, AC is down. <laughs> Just in time for the cold. Um, but that's it, guys. It's this little piddly shit that I hate doing when you're so close. So, but we're, we're, we're there. So, and we'll mask this into the other color. We'll just come around the corner, because you don't see, you're not going to see if it is anyway, so we'll come into the corner like over here. Um, and this will all be painted, so when you open up the door, you see that the jam is nice. 
the rest of the stuff is going to turn black. It's going to be in a black well that goes there, a little square piece. So, okay, we got a mask to make sure. I'm not going to leave the pins there, but I want to make sure I don't get paint inside the pins. And uh, that's it. And I'm going to paint with the back door on. We're just going to open and close it and work around it. The clock will go over another foot or two. We have just enough room to do it, but this time I'm putting something on this wall behind me, so I'll paint the wall like I did last time. And I'm thinking I have more than enough room to get in there and color that at this angle. Just this part, and then when you swing it, I can get the further part in. But just this angle here without this door on, I should be able to get in there without a problem. I'm go long past the door and angle back this way also. So that's what they did in the factory. So if they could do it, I could do it. Um, and that's it. We're probably going to uh, blow onto the doors so I can get this back lip painted. So we're going to fog it onto the doors. So there'll be some clear on the doors. Then when all that's done and dry, we'll block the door so that it will disappear, so it'll be covered right up to the edge. So then I'll back mask it, it'll blow onto there, and be coating it kind of like again, and if it misses any, it'll still be covered. So rather than the wagon, I masked this off, shot it from the back side, and left a hard edge that I had to round over again. We're not doing that again. And when we paint the jams, we'll paint the window frames, because I got a nice big gap here. I'm going to finish cleaning in there, but I got a nice big gap in here, just like the wagon. I'm going to paint off the window frames, uh, tape off. The only thing that's going to be exposed is the door skins. This, the jams, everything here, all the stuff will be masked off. So you'll see the, the quarter, the roof, this skin, that skin, and the fender will be in front of the car. Um, so... There won't be no blowing up in here and anything like that. Um, the less complicated I have to do when I do the final paint that you're going to see, the less chances of uh, dry paint, running paint, orange peel, and everything else that a professional has problems with. Forget about an amateur. So, um, that's the way I shot the wagon. I had these messed off. But the wagon doesn't have this big ugly pillar. The wagon frames almost touch each other but okay um so we're good i found no hidden rust or rot yay and uh tomorrow we'll come out here it's tuesday tomorrow we'll come out here just like i thought we'll finish up that door um even i might have to hang it on here to do the sanding which i probably will make my life easy it only takes a second to put it back on and uh we'll work on it from there okay guys i'm calling it have a good night.